Hello everyone, I am Renown Zero, and today we're going to be talking more about actual fandom, organized chaos, and a bunch of other people that they associate with, and they're calling themselves the Fandom Initiative, you know, coming after people like Jeremy from the Quartering, Jeremy Griggs, Nervrotic, I'm assuming, Eric July, these are the same people that, that have been talking noise about Eric July's comic for a while now, and now they're just coming out after other people. We got some more clips here from the Ripperverse Gold Post Twitter account, which is a fantastic Twitter account. Go follow them if you don't. I really appreciate it if you do that. They put a lot of great content exposing these weirdos all the time. But we're going to start right here with this clip where this guy here is talking about how, you know, people like the people I just mentioned, like Jeremy from the quarter, Jeremy and from Geeks and Gamers, etc. They hate everything and they do this for the money. Yeah. But it's exceedingly rare. Yeah. I, I hate to say a lost cause because I don't want to think anybody is, but I feel like some of them are so deep in the... Like, these guys that do this, I mean, the plan is there. They want to... These guys that do this, they love the things that they love. They love fandom. They love the movies they used to watch, and they love the characters they used to watch, and the franchises they used to love, and it's all destroyed, and they're here calling out the BS and calling out the nonsense and the trash that is things like Disney Star Wars and Disney Marvel and all the other garbage that they're releasing with movies and how they're destroying all the empowering male characters and uplifting the female characters and making the fem and degrading the male characters and the, the female characters talking down to the male characters and saying things like that. Do this long enough to make a bunch of money and then walk away without any accountability for the things they've done. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. really this. All they've ever done is give their opinion. What accountability are you referring to? Sad reality of it, because think about this, like people like the quartering, um, there's a bit of ego in what he does. I mean, he definitely. I would say the only ego the quartering really has is the fact that he's a workaholic and likes to make money. Like I said, I use the term bigotry porn because I feel like that's what it all is, but. It's not bigotry porn, it's giving commentary on trash. On trash shows, trash movies, etc. And people like, you know, Zoe Quinn and Anita Sarkeesian who do terrible things and ruin, ruin games like Anita Sarkeesian does. And Zoe Quinn scamming people out of money. But, you know, we're not going to talk about the, the things that he calls out. We're going to talk about how he's a bigot. There's a bit of ego with that. Um... I don't know if he'd want to walk away, but then you have a lot of people that I feel like are doing it just enough to make a big sum of money and then walk away because we... Isn't that the same thing you're doing? You're talking about them talking about something else to make money, right? Are you not doing the same thing? Do you not see the irony and the bullcrap you're spewing? You don't really know these people. They don't talk... You don't. And yet here you are talking crap about them. Talk about real life. Everything with them is just a... It's a facade, mm -hmm. really. How is it a facade if they're bringing in facts and evidence of things that they're talking about? They're giving you the written or spoken evidence to the claims that they make. So make yep. the money and walk away. And, and who cares if I leave the town on fire? And that's kind of the way it is and so it's, it's an unfortunate reality because i'd like to i would actually like to get inside the head of these people to see what they really think like if they really you don't need to get inside the heads of nobody you weirdo what they really think is what they're telling you they're telling it to you on video what they think that's the whole point of their content they are Anti everything. Oh. If you knew anything about the quartering, because I used to, watch, I've been watching the quartering since he was at two hundred thousand subs. The quartering loves things like Crean games. His favorite franchise is Ghostbusters. He talks about it all the time. He loves retro video games. He loves World of Warcraft. He just hates the bullshit that goes around all of those things. But it doesn't, he loves Magic the Gathering, the card game. If you knew anything about the quartering or actually watched his videos, you would know these things. But clearly you don't watch him, so you don't know these things. Or if it's something like, I can make money doing this, so I'm going to... The only thing he hates is the forced 
things like diversity and inclusion in everything, which we don't need. The only diversity we need is diversity of thought. Do it. Like a car salesman. Okay, so that was the first video. We're going to actually move on to the next video here of them talking once again. You know, here we're just going to get right into it. It's like it maybe started out as more that than this kind of thing, but at some point it just becomes all the same. You know, like I, I, don't, I think some of them don't even probably re acknowledge or understand that there's a difference between, you know, they, I don't know. Who, you're, I'm the same way. I think. Sounds like a bunch of dribbles so far. About it. You know, it's probably a fucking bag of rabid cats in their brains. Mm -hmm. um, it makes me sad because. These people are a lot smarter than you are. The people that you're complaining about are a lot smarter than you are because they're better at monetizing idiocy and retardation. Because growing up, because, I mean, all of us are, I think all of us are over 40, or at least 40-ish in that territory. Uh, and yet here you are being 40 or, or over, complaining about other people's success. Um, growing up... Rather than creating your own success. I would have loved to be a part of the quote-unquote cool kids, because I was a comic book reader, and back then, it was like, you got talked about like garbage all the time, right? Now that I would agree with. Mm -hmm. So to have a situation... It's probably the only thing I've ever agreed with with these people. ...now where it's flipped around, where those same bullies that bullied me and other comic book fans for being fans of these things as kids are now part of this cycle, and they're using... Yes, the thing is that's called the MCU brought in the normies. The MCU brought in the normies who don't know shit about comic books. But they think they know about the characters that they talk about because they watch the movie or they use a Marvel Unlimited app and think they own shit. Seeing what we love to now turn that around and bully other people. Yep. And Considering that Eric has clearly shown to a detractor of his that he's been a Marvel fan, comic book fan for a while now, since probably his teenage years, what is he really doing? And yeah, it's, it's such a up. weird thing because it's because because the only thing I see Eric doing is giving his commentary on based on something he li used to like, used to enjoy doing like reading Marvel comics, reading DC comics, and watching his hobby be destroyed by people who don't actually care about what they're writing. It's like counter. It's it's against everything that I thought we were as a community to just yeah. come in and be like they can't do this, they can't do that. Like, their fantasy and their idea of escapism is a world where no diversity exists. Wrong. If you knew anything about someone like Eric July, you will know that one of his favorite characters is a black man called Luke Cage. If you knew anything about Eric July, you would know that one of his favorite X-Men is Storm, a black woman. Eric July's other favorite characters are Batman, he's not white, and The Flash, because he was an athlete. If you knew anything about Eric July, you would know these things. You would know these things. You would know that Eric July, for the longest time that I've been watching him, has had a poster of Black Panther on his wall. What people are arguing is that the diversity is forced. It's not played out in the movie, it's part of the plot. Or as part of, you know, thought process. That it feels forced. Like it's just in there just, just to check a box. Similar to Miles Morales being Miles Morales. Well, like, and then they he... want to be in a world where everything is white, cishet men, and everything else is, is, a, is a side character to that. Well, it's then really they, what they do is they, they... What they do is talk about tokenization, like Eric Delight does. As far as I'm aware, tokenization of a original white character named Peter Parker, who is Spider-Man, unlike Miles Morales is Miles Morales. They've literally said that Miles Morales was created to check a box so that they can have a they can have a black Spider-Man, which he's half black. He's also Latino. But it's beside the point. They kind of failed they they, they leave right. this out, of course. So now we're gonna move on to the next clip. They do. They prey on autistic people. That's that's true. They do not prey on autistic people. Evidence, please. Evidence, please. Present it. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, you won't. Oh, yeah, that's right. You never do. That's just fucking true. Especially comics. These people never do. 
kid, I think I've noticed talking to some of those guys. You know, I can guarantee you never talk to a real comic skater. Oh, we can smell our own. Um, and, and I, yeah, I, I do. It does piss me off. But you know, why though? Why autistic people or why? Why do they prey on them? Um, they do not. Because there's a, you know, a disconnect in, in sociability kind of in a lot of cases, like it took me 30 fucking five years to kind of get a grasp on what people generally expect socially. And I still kind of suck at it. And I've just, yes, we know, we know you suck at it. You suck at being a human as well because you're a racist and you've proven yourself time and time again that you're a racist because you are actively attacking Eric July and because he doesn't have a he has a different opinion than you and he's a black man you don't like him just kind of accepted this is how I am and you take me as I am or whatever you know like you sound like a bitch that's literally what that's literally what women say bro that's literally something that stuck up modern women say <laughs> accept me as I am shut the fuck up uh, it, there's a generally, and I don't want to generalize uh, really with with any group of people, but generally, yeah, there's very. You you literally been generalizing everyone you've been talking about lately all the time. Varying degrees of uh, feeling alienated as an autistic person. Mm. Sucks to suck. Life isn't fair. Lonely people are their target. Oh, so you mean incels, not. Autistic people. Hey, autistic people aren't incels. Um, I, 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 <laughs> so basically, you just call yourself an incel. GG, such a self own my guy. You literally just said you were autistic, and you said autistic people are incels. So you just called yourself an incel. What a self own One of the biggest self owns of the year. I, uh, I was making that clear. I know, I <laughs> um, no, I, I, I mean, I, all of it. It's, it's really anybody who is socially, um, you know, alienated, vulnerable. You know, and, and this is exactly why. I never knew Eric July's audience was alienated and vulnerable. Such a weird thing for you to say. Which is something we were going to talk about. Because I'm definitely none of those things. Talk about today, but it kind of evolved into something. I can guarantee I have a stronger mind and a stronger will than you'll ever have, you bitch. <laughs> something else. We'll, we'll do that another time. But um, it's there's a cult mentality to it. And yeah. that's exactly what cults do. You're literally presenting yourself as a cult. They prey on people who are socially or, or emotionally vulnerable. Uh, Alone, people. angry, and, and you know, need somewhere to, to direct. I have no words. Their attention. It, it, mm -hmm. It's yep. basically it. I, I need to be angry about something. Oh, diversity in comics. That, that'll fix my, my life that I'm not happy. Eric July's comic book, I Sum Number One, has diversity that isn't absolute dog shit. Has a black character as the main character, has a white, a bunch of white characters that assist the cops, known as the Alpha Corps. You have Yaira, who is a white woman. It's like. Bro, what are you talking about? Happy with? Yeah. You sound like a fucking NPC. Just like actual fandom. Just like organized chaos. Y'all are all just literal NPCs and you all spew the same talking points and never know what in the world that you are talking about. Also young. Un uneducated. Yeah. Uh, you know, lack of... Continue to describe yourself. Life experience that all of those things fall into the category right he literally just described everyone on this panel uneducated <laughs> oh my goodness okay i think uh on to the next video where he talks to they start talking about jeremy griggs from geeks and gamers and the videos that he makes let's let's take a listen here you know and so like that's why you look at jeremy griggs videos and they're always like right at six minutes you know, and it's just him kind of... Because maybe all he needs is six minutes to get a point across? Did you ever think of that? Oh, wait. You're not very You're not very smart. You're not very intelligent. You have room temperature IQ. 
because you are a room temperature IQ brainlet. Going on about the same thing, you know, typically every time and, and finding different ways to mock, you know, LGBT rights and whatnot. Um, Again, evidence. You're on a podcast, are you not? Where's the evidence to support your claims? Who's and, and Jeremy no, Riggs? I don't know. There's no substance to it. You know what I mean? There's, there's... there's actually a pretty decent amount of substance to it. I'm sorry that your puny brain can't, can't process it. Can't process it because you're so unintelligent. It's just repetitive shit, and, and it rewards that because, yeah, it's just how the system is set up, and that's uh, taking us down some, some it's bad It's really weird road. how low effort that, that content is typically. It's like five If it's low effort, why aren't you doing it? If it's so low effort, why aren't you doing it then? This is the same crap that everybody spews that that are jealous of YouTubers who do this type of content and then they always say the same thing. Oh, it's so low effort. It's so low effort. Then do it then. If it's so low effort, you should be able to do it. No problem. Five minutes, open up a, twi a tweet, uh, tell people that mainstream media is lying to them, uh, make the person. Yeah, it's called showing facts and evidence to the claims that they're making. They're able to present this to prove what they are saying to be true. It's not lying that's tweeting look like they don't know what they're talking about call them weirdos uh double down on that repeat that same thing three yes most people on twitter are weirdos just like the weirdos who tried to cancel silvervale for playing hogwarts legacy they're all fucking weirdos they say weirdo shit they do weirdo shit they're weirdos four times in the video and twitter is not real life yeah, that's pretty much what the video is you know once again, I'm going to reiterate, if it's so simple to do, then why aren't you doing it then? I, I don't get it. I think this will, I think these will be the last two videos here that I'll do. This one actually referring to the move, think this chunky monkey topic, again, going right back to Eric July, something that they called him at one point. Well, let's jump into the next clip. Podcast. Mine was one of them. I saw it. And I was like, what is this? So I went in and looked. And YouTube has a new feature where they're they're creating a their own podcast service, probably an RSS feed at some point to turn into like an official podcast. Uh, but YouTube slash podcast. And I went to that page and it was a new page for me. I'd never been there before. So it was basically just kind of aggregating what it thought fell into my bubble of interest, uh, which is <laughs> all I mean, every website does this now. Um, yeah. But I noticed at the top of that list and keep in mind, a lot of these channels I've clicked on and been like, don't recommend because I don't want to see anything from them um a lot of that like you don't want to see anything from them yet here you are comment co making commentary on them you know bigotry porn anti-fandom stuff was in that's none those channels that you're referring to are none of those things in this that cycle and i'm like i specifically said i didn't want to see that stuff but it's still showing mm -hmm. up there uh, because they're still trying to push that out. The YouTube algorithm, even with brand new stuff, makes it super easy for people to stumble into these things and then go down the rabbit hole because all it takes mm. is clicking on a couple of those videos mm -hmm. and YouTube is like, oh, this is what you want? You haven't established what you want yet because you're, you're, you're just watching it. And so well, it just pushes it out to you. And it seems like it's just one of those things where it's just, it's everywhere on YouTube. It's literally everywhere. And it because it resonates with people. That's why it's everywhere. Okay, we're gonna do this very last clip, I think. I don't think there's anything else that I wanna do from here. But podcast, mine was one of them, I saw it. Hmm. I think this will be the last clip. Let's get right into it. Yes. So now they now they made it a, a moving picture of something that they called Eric July. So that, that's where they're going to die on this hill. All right. Mm, no, no. Yeah, so apparently uh, some folks decided to uh, zero in on an, uh, just a, a comment <laughs> uh, I made that had nothing to do with race, uh, you know, and, and I haven't heard this. I haven't heard it complained about from anybody who, you know, actually focuses on racism as a concern on a regular basis. I've only heard it from 100% of the time that I've heard it. People who uh, actually either are uh, do have themselves a very long history of 
you know, pretty fucking obvious obscene racism or people. Def- yes, you're you're one of those people. Defending. You should look in a mirror and look at yourself. You're one of those people. Those people. Um, and that's not a coincidence because the word is not uh, it's not racist. You know, look, is it not a good idea to fucking, you know, use any type of language that, you know, like monkey or anything if you're referring to a black person? Yeah, it's not a fucking good idea. And if I, you know. And yet here you are doing it. You've literally just spelled out the definition of irony. Or maybe it wasn't irony. Maybe it's oxymoron. Had recognized that that's what I was doing, I wouldn't have fucking done it. But I will die on the hill that it is not a racist remark. And I was, you know, if you want to call me fat folk. No. I guess so. Phobic and, and fucking cancel me for that? Okay. I was being fat phobic. And- You're a dumbass. That That's my comment for this one. You're a dumbass. No one's scared of fat people. Shut up. And it sure. was re- and reactionary to something that somebody else said. And <laughs> I hate saying this. To be fair to the moron that started that little diatribe, that person's not from America and doesn't... Chunky Monkey doesn't have the same... It doesn't matter if they're not from America. What does that have to do with you calling Eric July a Chunky Monkey? Because, again, that's who you're referring to. Uh, 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 click that it would hear. Chunky Monkey, all of us immediately thought of ice cream. Uh, you know, there's certain... But you said it in reference to Eric July after calling him fat. Certain words. You could have simply just called him fat, but you decided to include an animal in calling him fat. It's over there. I was just there. That you can't say that are that are nothing here. If I said, it's like the same dumbass thing where you say, someone's transphobic instead of just saying they dislike trans people, because they're literally saying that they're scared of trans people, which they're not. Maybe they dislike them, sure, but scared of them. Fanny pack out there, you would think I would say cunt pouch. Uh, <laughs> you know, some things mean different things, and some things have 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 different. You know, you can't just you can't just resort to what what. Use your words. But your mind jumps to, over there in Wales. Once again. Anyone can have an opinion on anything. That person decided to have an opinion on it. I believe his name was Alpha Eagle. Was the YouTube channel in reference. I believe that's who it was. So, yeah. Essentially, these people are... Weird Twitter weirdos. To me. Who... Complain about the content that people like Eric July... Jeremy from Quartering, Jeremy from the Quartering, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, Nerdrotic, etc., etc., make, and yet here they are, making the same, quote unquote, hateful content that they make. You're, you, these guys co- consistently complain about Eric July's success with Isom. They consistently complain about er- Jeremy Griggs' success. Now they're bringing in the Quartering, which they don't even know that Quartering likes a whole bunch of things that I've already listed somewhere in the beginning of the video, or maybe the first half of the video it's like these people don't even know the people that they're talking about they all they see is the stuff that they're calling out and saying it's bad and saying you shouldn't watch it and they're talking about the nonsense that disney and all these companies are putting into the propaganda they're putting into their tv shows and movies and they don't actually know the people that they're complaining about because they only see the bad things they don't ever see the good things that they say about certain things all they see is the bad the bad the bad and yet here they are standing up on their soapboxes complaining about people they don't actually know thank you all for checking out this video it's kind of a long one i wanted to go through all these clips if you did like the video hit the like button comment below what your feelings about all this do not go around interacting with these people keep everything in the comments subscribe for more content like this i will keep exposing these people because I hate liars. I really do. It's one of my pet peeves. I hate liars. Um, hit the button for notifications. Set it to all that where you get notifications anytime I post a new video. And I will see you all on the next one. Peace.